Hi, I'm Tyler Colt from Zenata Consulting, and this tutorial on integrations inside of Zoho Projects was taken from our 2022 webinar. Please be sure to like and subscribe down below if you do find this video useful, and leave any questions or feedback in the comment section because we do read every single one. Thank you and enjoy. As promised, we're kind of circling back to the settings here under the marketplace. Um, so as you'd expect, Projects has a litany of integrations with other Zoho applications. <clears throat> we'll fly through a couple of these that we kind of see people use a lot, um, but just at kind of like a 30,000 foot level. So WorkDrive, fantastic, right? Basically makes it so that you can associate WorkDrive files directly with your projects. Zoho Sprints has kind of a weird integration in that you could break off a part of a large project into a little sprint on the side, but kind of still have it roll up to Zoho Projects as a whole. CRM essentially allows you to generate and manage projects from your kind of you know accounts, contacts, deals, pages in the CRM. We'll show that in practice in just a moment. Uh, Zoho Analytics will pull in all of your projects data. We use this one a lot. Right, so understanding time allocation across various clients or across various task types, you can just get very, very granular inside of Zoho Analytics. Um, books and expense kind of work together. So with the books integration, you can kind of roll up all your billable time and send it as an invoice to that client account. Um, expenses can also be logged against a particular project. So you can try to understand your real profit loss, including all those miscellaneous expenses that kind of run through Zoho expense. Um, desk is a great one. You can essentially log a ticket as an issue inside of projects and then close out that issue when that desk ticket is completed. Um, People is kind of interesting, but one thing that's nice about it is that if someone has like a time off request inside of Zoho People, it'll show that if you try to assign them a task on that date. So there's kind of some like availability integrations there, as well as some of the time roll up um, that you're able to report on within Zoho People. And then lastly, kind of across the bottom, Zoho Meeting kind of gives you a click to meet button on any task or project. Um, Zoho Mail will tie in so that you can see, you know, uh, task notifications and, and your tasks themselves actually directly in your inbox. Um, click works interestingly in that it, you can spin up an, its own channel for each individual project. Some people love that, some people hate it, but that is how it works. It's kind of each project would get a channel. Um, and then lastly, you know, Vault forms, you know, forms can obviously roll in and generate tasks or projects. Um, and then Zoho Vault, you can kind of associate, here's a relevant password to this project. The big one here that we're going to cover in detail is the CRM. Um, this is a big one that we see because it essentially is a way to greatly streamline the handoff between sales and your operations or project management team. The one thing to know is that it's actually set up on the CRM side. So we've jumped over to the CRM here um, under Marketplace and Zoho, we'll have access to that integration. So it'll be up here kind of in the top right under Zoho Projects. We'll open up that menu and essentially get started. Now here, there's a couple things you'll need to do. So you have to define what portal you wanna connect it to. It's most likely you only have one, so that's gonna just be auto-selected for you. And then in our red box, we can actually dictate some of the fields that we want to push over from the CRM. I've highlighted a few that we do a lot inside of kind of like a deal to project integration. And so this is in a case where, you know, this deal is to do this project. So once we close it, we want to generate a project from it. And so you can set things like what should the project name be? You know, maybe we want that to match the deal name. Maybe we're going to start this once the deal is closed and that's going to be day zero. Maybe the end date, maybe we have a custom field like time frame to complete and that's going to do the tail end of the project. And then maybe I want to pull over the description from the deal as kind of like a top down description on that project itself. Um, next under the permissions, you're really just giving various CRM users the ability to view, create, edit and delete the projects through the CRM. Um, so in this case, you know, everyone's got the ability to view, create and edit, but maybe only admin is able to delete. And with that, you've pretty much set it up. So there's no coding involved, nothing crazy. You're kind of just 
connecting a couple fields from CRM to where you want it to go in projects um, and then getting everything authenticated. So let's kind of show this in practice. So I've opened up a deal here for the Morlong Associates, just one of our kind of demo accounts in the CRM. We'll see that it has a lot of that data filled in, like our closing date, our time frame to complete, kind of each of these key fields. Down here at the bottom, we now have a section for Zoho projects. I'll go ahead and add a new project. Here, we can pick from those templates that we've chosen or that we've created. So I'll choose our example project template. We'll also see that the because the closing date from the deal was the 26th, that set itself as the project start date and will kind of be the day zero for all those task calculations. When you're adding these, you can also go ahead and set up your internal and external users that need access. You can always do this later, um, but oftentimes you wanna get this dialed in right out of the gate. And then with that, our project is done or it's in here, not done yet, it's actually just started. Um, from the CRM in both the deal and the account page, you can see the status of the project, what's our percent completion, and how many milestones, tasks, and issues are open versus complete. Um, if I click through that Zoho Projects tab, we'll actually see that it opens inside the CRM. So technically, people don't have to go to a different URL to actually get into this and start working. Here, all of our tasks have been generated, again, based on those dates that we've specified in the deal being that closing date of the 26th. And then it's generated our full kind of Gantt chart and task list for us just automatically. Again, all just pulling from that template. Um, the big thing to highlight with this as well is that this is a really good um, item to automate. So a very cl common request that we get is, you know, when a deal closes, make a project automatically. It's very straightforward to do. Um, all we would really need is to understand what in the deal lines up with what type of project or which template needs to be chosen. A lot of different ways to configure that, um, but something that we've automated dozens and dozens of times, essentially just automating the whole handoff between sales and operations and automating the generation of these projects. So big time saver uh, to make sure that you know every single project is kind of lined up properly with that deal and account. So that you're able to get that whole kind of picture when you go to the CRM and review what's going on. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you did find it useful, please again, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Uh, that really helps us out and it'll make sure that uh, YouTube shows you our videos in the future when we put out more tutorials just like this one. Um, if you do have any questions or feedback, uh, make sure to leave those in the comments as well. We really do appreciate that. Helps us get better and better. And uh, after all that, we will uh, see you on our next tutorial video.